for you? Well, I think uh, trying to educate patients and families especially about the whole process and giving them some insight into some of the work that we're doing sort of behind the scenes um, to help come up with the best decisions for treatment is really critical. And I think that this type of forum is really, in, I think, informative for the patients. I've talked to a couple of them now after the session, and they were very excited to hear about, you know, how we do things and the multidisciplinary approach, which is so critical for taking care of patients and getting them the best optimal care. Yeah, well, it seems so collaborative, and yes. you don't think about that. You know, when you go to see your doctor, you don't think it's a collaborative yeah. effort, but it really is. It really is, and uh, we work so closely with all of the physicians. Um, I, I routinely call up the radiologist as soon as I get scans. You know, we, we have this mechanism that every week we meet as a group so we can be face to face and say, you know, I'm really concerned about this. What do you think? You know, and have that kind of discussion go on very early on in the course. And how about the ABTA? How does that uh, how does that act as a resource, the ABTA, for you as yeah, well? Yeah, it's a fabulous resource. I mean, we uh, make sure that our patients have the primer for the information. Um, uh, from a personal point of view, in terms of UCSF, uh, the ABTA has supported a caregiver initiative that we've done. Um, I'll be actually highlighting that in the next session. And it's been really fabulous to work with them and realize how much they're really there for patients and families, which is, is so critical when we take care of patients. And I think um, Mr. Kennedy said it very eloquently, it's our tumor. And I look at it as our tumor as well, like I'm part of the team that's dealing with this too. So. Absolutely. And then every day is probably a new challenge for you, but also a new hope. I mean, yes. Do you see how yes. you said within the last five years there's been so much that has evolved, yes. um, what do you see going forward? Uh, well, I think part of what you heard today at the tumor board uh, through the neuropathologist is really how we're trying to identify the tumor in a more uh, specific way for tailoring the treatments. Because right now, you know, we say glioblastoma, but we know there are many subsets of glioblastoma that uh, some patients do very, very well with a specific subset, but they're still being called glioblastoma. And so what we have to move away from is uh, categorizing tumors more effectively for counseling patients in terms of how they're going to do, and also potentially targeting appropriate uh, therapies depending on their tumor type. So I think that that's to me the biggest hope is that we can be better at saying, okay, this is a patient, this is the type of tumor they have, this is the best treatment that we feel would benefit this patient with the least amount of side effects. I mean, that's ultimately where we want to go is to individualize the care. Absolutely. And real quick, one question on detection. Do you find yeah. uh, that's evolving as well? Uh, well, I think the challenge right now is that the imaging that we use, the standard MRI, which is fabulous in terms of anatomic, in other words, where is a tumor in relation to normal tissue, is very, very good. But one of the challenges is that once we've done treatment, surgery, radiation, and some of the other therapies that we're using, the imaging can be very limited in what it tells us. And so we're still now relying on a lot of physiological imaging and new techniques. Uh, ultimately, we get tissue to confirm one way or the other. That's still the gold standard. But we can't be subjecting patients through multiple, multiple, multiple surgeries if we have a good surrogate. So if we have a non-invasive surrogate of telling us what's really happening in terms of tumor burden, uh, scar tissue, that's really where the hope is. And there's a lot of research undergoing um, imaging to try to try to help us guide how we should manage patients. So, thank you. Thank you that very much.